Hi, it's Andrew again, and I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to do the dual pane example in portrait and landscape, where in portrait mode you have um, a single pane where when you click it, you get your own little fragment that loads. And when you put it in landscape mode, you get the same thing but with two windows. Now it's actually pretty easy to do and I guess I was making it a lot more complicated than I needed to. So once I experimented around I figured out how to do it. It's actually pretty simple. Um, I'm going to upload the source code for this later. But basically I created each um, color its own uh, view uh, with its own little fragment. So each one of these is going to be treated like a fragment. And since I'm using Action Bar Sherlock, they're Sherlock fragments. And the only real changes that I made, first of all, uh, unlike the last time I uploaded this dual panes um, tutorial, we won't actually be needing this details activity. So even though this is here, it's never getting called. So we don't actually need to do anything with this. So you can delete that out, completely ignore it, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Uh, what we're going to be doing instead is um, see how this is the code where I took out all of that uh, calling the details fragment and everything like that. Basically, what I'm going to do is we've already set up how to do do the dual pane in here. We have the views, the layouts for layout landscape and layout uh, portrait. So those are going to be these two. Uh, and basically we're going to be swapping out the, the fragments. So when it's in dual pane, which is when it's in landscape mode, uh, each list item has a, its own um, position number. So blue would be zero, which is the first item, and four would be purple, which is the last item. And when we click on that and it's in horizontal mode, we're going to be replacing the details fragment, which is the fragment on the right, with whichever item we selected. Now when we're in portrait mode, which is this else category, we still have the same criteria where we're selecting a fragment to put it. But instead of putting it where the details fragment is, since it doesn't exist, we're just going to be replacing the, the fragment with the list in it. So. Um, this is the only difference between these two uh, lines of code is what fragment we're replacing. This is still the same, we're replacing it with the new con content fragment. Uh, I've, I left all the code in there, just kind of ignored it. Um, and then again, this is what's setting up the dual pane mode. So if you look at this, this is all the code that associates with the landscape. And then uh, it's actually pretty simple on that. So I'll be loading this up. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, let me know in the comments. And all right, have a good day.